So guys, we're looking at the Wii Riff Raff. Now you can see it on the screen there in front of you. Um, initially, when I first unboxed this, I was kind of over the moon about it. I still like it a lot, but I have found some problems with it. So we're gonna look at the good and the bad on this first day in pocket. Well, if I didn't mention it in the intro because I shot it a while ago, uh, I apologize for any noise. They are doing construction on the street out here. This is the Wii Riff Raff, and this is a really nice knife. There's a lot of really good things about it, and there are a couple downsides, so we're gonna crack into it. This came to me from Winston Corbetti. I've been carrying it all day yesterday. I'm just getting around to filming First Day in Pocket. It has been a weird uh, weird couple weeks. Um, this knife is a lot of fun. So you're looking at a 20 CB blade that's done a lot like the Magnetron was. So the Magnetron was a very, very fancy knife. I'll put a picture of the Magnetron up here. Um, I did a video about the Magnetron. Um, really, really similar blade sh uh, style and shape, just smaller. The Magnetron was really big and over the top. The thing this has really going for it is very, very, very thin behind the edge. This is a really, really slicey knife. So you've got 20 CV done with a hand satin which I was told not to worry about it. I am cutting with this. So you can see it's been scuffed up. Uh, titanium scale or titanium handles, I should say. Uh, frame lock running on bearings. Now it is thumb stud only and it's got this really nice spot for your thumb. Titanium on this, as always, as I would always expect from Wee Knife Company, beautifully done. It's been done with a stone wash and then a blue anno. It's got pivot collars that are in the same material. So you just, it's not really a flash of color. It's just a, it's something that breaks up the lines of the scales. The pivot, all the hardware has been done blue. The pivot, the thumb studs, all the hardware, pocket clip screws and everything. There's a good bit of weight reduction in this. So this is a very light knife. Uh, it's fairly, you know, for me, it's not a real big knife. It's coming in about, from tip to tail, about seven and seven and a quarter, maybe a little bit more. Um, as far as cutting this blade, like I said, being really thin, you've got really good, really, really good cutting ability with this because it just is very, very slicey. Action on it is really good. You can reverse flick off of the thumb studs. Um, the action on it is very good, very snappy. Does not have a flipper tab. I know that might put some people off. Not a real big problem for me. Beautifully done work on the backspacer. I typically am not a fan of like a textured or jumped backspacer, but with the fact that they did it in a fashion where it's nice and deep in there, you don't see it from here. It's not standing up. It's not unattractive. And it gives it just a little bit of facets on that. So we does a really good job on their blade finishes. This satin has obviously been a hand satin. That's a lot of work. Um, I'm not sure a price on this knife, uh, cause this is first impressions. If you guys are new to the channel, I do blind reviews. So that means I don't know anything about this knife except what I can pick up from the blade and knife itself. So you can see, I can see it's 20 CV. I know this is titanium and I can look at that and see that that's ceramic, uh, detent ball, which means it's probably running on ceramic bearings. So I've had a pretty good first exp first day experience with this knife. But with all knives, there are some negative things. We're going to talk about the negative things on this right after you guys hear from Coffee Brand Coffee. This video is sponsored real quick. I know that no one likes to watch ads in the middle of a video. I don't like putting them in, but I do know that I got to support what I do here. So I partnered with companies that I know I can trust. And today's sponsor is Coffee Brand Coffee. They're delivering quality coffee, freshly roasted on demand, ground to order and delivered to your door. And they're not doing anything political. So you don't have to worry about a company that you're that you're supporting that is supporting causes that you might not agree with because they don't support any causes. They just simply take the money and put it back into making a better product. So I would appreciate if you both support their new small business and my channel by checking out Coffee Brand Coffee and looking at their offerings. Use the link below and my coup or my coupon code Code crazy sharp on their website it's crazy sharp all one word capital c capital s let's get back to this so for as much as i like this knife i have found a couple things with it i did a bunch of light duty cutting and some heavy duty cutting and i have found that while this blade is very very slicey and thin 
you don't have a whole lot of flat. So if you're cutting through cardboard, what happens is, and this is why I love Warren Cliffs, um, you don't get a lot before you get here. So it'll be cutting, 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 and then it just kind of slips off the cardboard. Not that it's not sharp. It's just that it's not now addressed to the cut. You would have to readdress your cut. So you don't have a lot of flat for heavy cutting. Now you can choke up on it and get like this and just push cut through stuff. But that leads me to the next thing I was going to say. The handles on this are a little thin, both this way and this way. It's not very broad and it's not very thick. And what that leads to is when you're doing heavy cutting, I have to gr I have to just get up on it like this and bear down. And then that turns that really attractive, really well done pocket clip into a hot spot. It just digs into my hand and it has a lot to do with the handle size and the size of the knife overall. I, this knife was a little bit longer and a little bit broader or thicker, I think that would resolve the issue. That's one of the things I love about some of these knives I've had come in. When they really fill your hand like this, you lose a lot of that discomfort. And the other thing is on something that skinny, I have to really engage the muscles in my hand to get down on it, to do any heavy cutting. And you fatigue your arms really quick and your hands get tired and you just don't want to use it for that. And then last thing, lock bar access on this is not great. Like you have, like it's got really good action. It's got really clean lines, but the lock bar access is kind of tight. They could have either taken a little bit more material off this, not a lot. You don't want it to feel sharp at all, but they could have taken some material off here. And I find that that being a skinny, thin knife like that, and then being tight, I have a little bit more difficulty getting into there to disengage the lock. Now, I will say lock bar tension on it's not horrible and in and out of pocket, it's nice and smooth, but the, I mean, there's just some negatives to it. I do like this knife. It probably wouldn't be something I would actively seek out for everyday carry use, unless it was just something I wanted to have that I knew I was gonna do some light cutting, or I'd do it in my pocket like I often do with another knife, which is a lot of times what happens where I carry more than one knife at a time. So there you go, guys, the Wii Riff Raff, just a quick first impressions, first day in pocket. Uh, things about this may change. My thought process on it may change. I've got some other testing I want to do. There's some small kitchen tasks that I think this would be good at, and I can talk about that when I do the final review. So stay tuned to the channel. We'll see this probably in a couple more weeks. Um, and uh, let's turn this around, do some final thoughts, and send you out about your day. So with everything being said, and I know there were some negatives, uh, this is still a really good knife. Uh, a lot of people will really gravitate towards this. And my opinions may change over time. I may find, you know, that I've warmed up to some of the things that I didn't like. It's still a great knife. I absolutely do love it. It's just not necessarily exactly what I'm looking for in an EDC. It's really, really good but it might not be the knife for me. So if you like it, absolutely. I will put a link for purchase down below in the description and in a pinned comment. So guys, that's pretty much it on this one. We will take a longer in-depth look at this after it's been here for a while and I've carried it some more. But like I said, I had it in pocket all day yesterday. This is just a simply a first impressions video, basically. So if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. Uh, tell me why. If you don't like them, I can't change that content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, there's a bunch of ways. Coffee Grand Coffee, I know I threw an ad, but I also have got a Tempered Trail as a channel sponsor. They both share a coupon code of crazy sharp, all one word. Coffee Brand Coffee, it's a little easier if you just use the link down below. It's built in. You don't have to do anything additional at checkout. The other ways you can use that coupon code to save you some money are at Ferrum Forge Knife Works, so ferrumforge.com, or Rosecraft Blades. They both have that same coupon code. All of them save you five for it saves you five percent at everywhere I just mentioned. I've got an Amazon store down below. Take it, pin it to your browser. Anything you're gonna buy on Amazon, shampoo, toothpaste, it doesn't matter. I get credit for it. It supports the channel and it doesn't cost you anything at checkout. So make Jeff Bezos pay me a little bit of money. And the best way, the absolute best way you can support the channel is by joining a membership. I do exclusive content for the members. Everyone has access to the Gilded server and that exclusive content. Best line and baseline and premium tier members automatically are entered into giveaways that I do and announce on the Gilded server there. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series that I'm about to start shooting some more videos for here in the new future. And it's in that, it's on YouTube behind that paywall. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. I'll see you in the next video.